shot of the new Praetorian. I am Jack's sense of moral outrage, and also his unquenchable thirst for freedom, justice, in the American way. Oh man, I, I just did. I wanted to ignore this stuff today. I did. I wasn't even gonna do a video. I got iconoclord. He he busted my balls, man. He not only knew the kind of guitar that I have right behind my head. But he even said the the maker of that particular guitar, not just that it is a knockoff of a Gibson 335, but he also made very specific mention that it was an Ibanez. And then he went about naming two bluesmen. Well, one maybe not a bluesman, but listen, what I'm trying to say is <laughs> the video before this one is not my responsibility. But I have learned a valuable lesson. Do not tell the internet, the interwebs, if you will, that I will do whatever you want. <laughs> or you're either going to be a liar or you're going to be playing songs by Blink-182. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that. And uh, let's take a look. Let's just jump right in here feet first, shall we? I'm going to, let's let's switch over to the, to the dealio, the dealimo, the wop de bop de boom de bop bop de bap de boom bam. Man, listen, all this stuff's from Drudge. I'm going to link Drudge down there, so I'm just going to go ahead and take Drudge out the mix right now. Uh, Drudge will be linked in the comments down here, but let's take a look at this. This is uh, the New York Grimes. <laughs> what a filthy piece of garbage. I mean, every time that I read the New York Times, I must do it with the aid of some alcohol. That's why I would never be a Mooslam or any other kind of slam. <laughs> says right here, Obama administration rushed to preserve intelligence of Russian election hacking. So he was hurrying up. Their administration was hurrying up to... But what... Hey, Hillary was going to win. Listen, folks. They knew Hillary wasn't going to win a long time before it. That's why the MSN came out and did what they did. That's why the, the Obamies up there... Hey, it'll never be... Oh, well, blah, blah, blah. Well, at least I am president. Well, guess what? He's president now, too, dude. Now, before you go play your next round of golf, why don't you say you're sorry for that? Why don't you respect the office, you piece of garbage? You ruined this country damn near. And that is the consensus among people that I speak to. It's kind of an echo chamber, so if you disagree with it, please put it in the comments and tell me what he did good for this country. So Obama administration rushes to preserve intelligence of Russian hacking. This is by Matthew Rosenberg, very Jewish name, and Adam Goldman also, and Michael Schmidt also. So three Jewish brothers, it sounds like. So, hey, I love you boys, but excuse me, let's see what they got to say. Washington, the Obama administration's last days, some White House officials scrambled to spread information about Russian efforts to undermine the presidential election and about possible contacts between associates of President-elect Donald J. Trump and Russians across the government. Look, I, I'm going to leave a link to this pile of crap. I've already skimmed through it. It's, why does, <laughs> Obama's not the president anymore. Trump came right out in one of his rallies I was watching. I remember going, yeah, and he was like, hey, if you Russians are hacking, why don't you go on ahead and try to find him? Deleted emails she wiped with bleach bit. And she was like, what do you mean? Wipe with a towel? Come on, man. She tried to out GW, out, you know, GW. And it just didn't work out good for her. And now, thank the stars or whoever. I don't care if you, if you pray, chant, or give burnt offerings to Yojo. Do that and thank whoever. That Hillary Clinton... And the Clinton crime family, plug for Roger Stone, is not in office. Because, my gracious, they would have run us to death. So, I mean, I could go through this. American allies, including the British 
and the Dutch had provided information describing meetings in Europe, ci European cities between Russian officials and others close to Russian Pre President Vladimir Putin and associates of President-elect Trump, according to three former American officials who requested anonymity. Of course, and listen, I don't really. I'm not going to get into that because I'm anonymous. Hey, I don't want you coming to my house and, you know, getting shot. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want any hassle. I don't want any problems. Uh, so I'm anonymous, so that's probably why this person is anonymous. Or they're so full of dung that their breath smells like a sewer. <laughs> it's one of the two. So look, listen, please read this. Go through, see what they're doing to Sessions. I don't know the whole deal. All I can say is, what about Clinton meeting with, with Loretta Lynch on the tarmac there and trying to make it a big scene? Oh, we talked about golf and the grandkids. Bull! I call bullshit on that. Clinton, you evil piece of work, you. I mean, there's few people on earth that is more of a sexual predator than Bill, I like to rape chicks, Clinton. And if you don't like me saying that again, yeah, you know, you know what to do. Call me a moron, whatever you want to do. Make fun of my beard. Tell me, I don't even give a shit. That stuff makes me laugh. I love it. People troll me on Twitter and they, well, I'm getting in the weeds, but they wonder why I love it. I call myself the laughing ogre. <laughs> so let's take a look at this. So Sessions met, this is also the Washington Compost, not the New York Daily News or the New York New York Times. I'm sorry, this was New York Times on the first one. Uh, this is the Washington Compost Heap. So Sessions met with Russian envoy twice last year. Encounters he later did not disclose. I'm not going to make it, you know, redundant. To, 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 what, to, if he wasn't busted, would Billy, 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 Billy Clinton... With his black son in Arkansas, man, look into it, man. That that's a great guy. And just because he wasn't so good on a camera, man, they tried to they mocked him into obscurity. And Alex Jones, come on, Roger Stone, did y'all just forget about him now? Like you said, you were probably gonna. You wondered why he wanted to have his man there with him. Sessions met with Russian envoy twice last year. Encounters he later did not disclose. This is by a Adam Entios, Ellen. Nakasanya Machnogo and Greg Miller. <laughs> I'm not so good with foreign names and whatnot, if you can't say. It says, Then Senator Jeff Sessions, Republican of Arkansas, oh, Alabama, spoke twice last year with Russian ambassador to the United States. Justice Department officials have said this. Encounters he did not disclose when asked about possible contacts between members of President Trump's campaign and representatives of Moscow during Sessions' confirmation hearing to become Attorney General. I really can't wait to find out what this is. My guess, it's nothing. My guess that he, who knows, could have had a phone call that was routine. They are going to nitpick this apart. Obama had the Negro Pass, and he used it. He, If you say he didn't use it, you're being disingenuous. You are being a liar. I, I would that, that is the most blatant, racist person that has ever been in office in my lifetime, and that I know of, I mean, because I can only speak to the president's side, remember, and I don't really remember Jimmy Carter. But you can go Ronald Reagan, George I, Clinton... Yeah, you can go through them up to date. And I, I mean, I watched what they did. I know who they are. I know what they said. And Obama was by far the most divisive, most racist piece of garbage that has ever been in our White House. And I sincerely hope that we never get anybody like that again. There are plenty of wonderful uh, black men, black women. <laughs> the joke is... <laughs> I don't even want to dignify it, but there's some woman that is sometimes fat, sometimes skinny, and she's black, and her name begins with O, and she named her company her name backwards, like Philemic Magic, and I tell you what, what a piece of work. So let's look at this. It says, one of the meetings was a private conversation between Sessions and a Russian ambassador, Sergei Kezlankov, that took place in September in the senator's office. At the height of what U.S. intelligence officials say was a Russian cyber campaign to upend the U.S. presidential race. If I was in charge of the Russian, who whatever, the, if I was in charge of them, their propaganda machine, their hackers, 
Of course, I would have said, do everything in your power to prevent that insane bitch from getting into office because she is bound and determined because she came, she saw, he died. Muammar Gaddafi killed in his own country where he lived modestly with a small house because uh, Ronald Reagan blew his presidential palace to hell and gone. <laughs> Look into that. You'll see. It's kind of a funny story. So, I mean, I like I said, listen, I, without this getting too long, read these stories yourself. Ask yourself. It's I'm calling racist. I'm calling the racist card on this. Because Obama was impenetrable. You dare not speak about any of his dealings, any of his decisions. If you did, oh my, 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 you hated black people and you wanted little black babies to die. I, myself, don't hate anybody. I don't want anyone to die. Uh, people die of natural causes. Uh, there's nothing we can do about that. People die. People, I don't want anyone to die. People die hang gliding. People die from drinking too much. People die from uh, all kinds of drugs and the number one thing, car accidents. I mean, I remember John Stewart saying, you want to know how to live a longer and healthier life? Quit smoking your cigarettes, people. I did it years ago, but I did it. You can do it too. Quit smoking your cigarettes and wear your seatbelt. And don't drink too many of these. Don't follow my example. Don't think that I'm sitting here drinking beer all day long. I run a farm. And when I'm done, oh, do I ever enjoy a cold one. And hey, I must say, he's not going to like this, but if you're watching, here's to you, Britisher. Man, did you ever help out a lot. And I really look forward to working with you in the future. You're a hell of a guy. And I got something special coming over there to you. To the, to the, to the, to the motherland, as far as us Americans are concerned. Here's to you, Brett. Ah, we can put that one away. And yes, as always, Coors will not quit making beer. And when we toast someone of note on this channel, why, my goodness, wouldn't it be disrespectful to put down a, a bit of booze in that glass? I got to mention right now that the British is a teetotaler. He just is probably going, what a freaking moron. So please listen, look into these articles, put yourself outside of yourself. If you're a righty, try not to be a righty. If you're a lefty, try not to be such a lefty. Just look at this and then ask yourself, is this how it would be if there was the last president in office? If they started saying things like this, would they say that's cool or would they cry racism as quickly as they possibly could? We all know the answer to that. You could try to fool yourself if you wanted to. And if you want to, that's fine. But you can't fool the ogre. You can't fool the hard bastard. You can't fool the Britisher on your best day. I've tried. I can't fool him. If I can't do it, it can't be done. You can't fool day is dead. You're not going to fool Based Mama. By the way, if you get a chance, swing over by Based Mama's channel. She just put up something really cool. She's super nice and lets you see her in her, her bikini top. And thank you. God bless you, Mama. God bless you. <laughs> Man, God has blessed you, I should say. Anyway, I don't want to dwell on that. I did a whole video about it. So I, I'm not going to start acting like a little boy and start talking about the Tatas. I'll say I like them. But... I've got to mention this. Look at this number right here. I can't believe it. It's 159. It's not like that's a lot, but I was down there and, you know, I was gathering, gathering snow like a snowball rolling down the hill and uh, it was going slowly, but I was getting, you know, one, one, two, sometimes subscribers a day and about once a week, one would drop off because I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> and that's cool. That's fine with me. Everybody has their own choices to make in life. Of course, everyone's welcome to stay. Everyone's welcome to leave. Uh, and I, a lot of this is due in part to the British. I have other friends that I'm sure would help me, but I like to do things myself. And to be honest, he's going to bust my balls, I'm telling you. But to be honest, the Britisher is such a good friend that it doesn't feel like a handout. It feels like a hand up from a brother. So that said, hey, stop by and see based mama this is the the actual clip i might even play a bit of it you know what i'm gonna play a bit of it for you mama hey guys it's based mama sorry i gotta hold my mic up like that 
Marty got banned from Twitter again because Jack's an asshole. Um, and he thinks it's going to be a good idea to stop making videos. So if you guys could go over to his channel and tell him to quit being a twat waffle and keep making videos because he's insightful and funny and I like his dry humor. And also, um, everybody's running to mines mercy anyway because sake. Twitter sucks. Like, even my kids God are on mines mercy. and they like it better because, well, they can post yes! it. I can't keep watching this. I think my leg's broken. <laughs> okay, anyway. Listen, she makes a good point there. And go there, for, you know, check check this out, if you will. Uh, because this guy needs a, a hand up also. And he's just started making videos. I'm going to go subscribe as soon as I'm done right here. Hey, listen. If you got a brain, check out the hard bastard. Yeah, this guy's going to give it to you straight now. If you don't like rough language or whatnot, then fuck off. Because he's going to tell you how it is. And he's going to tell it to you the way he do. He do what he do. And he don't give a shit about you. Well, that's probably not true. I was just trying to rhyme. Uh, one last, one last, one last. And now, of course, I thought I had it pulled up, but I got to pull it up. Check out the Britisher. Hey, Britisher, why don't you tell me how you do this cool format where the first thing they see when they come to your channel is this list. I'm sure it's something that I'm overlooking and just doing it uh, vertically instead of horizontally. But whatever it may be, if you could give me a heads up on that, I'd sure love it. And now this is running on a wee bit. So, hey, listen, go subscribe to the Britisher if you haven't already. Go check out the hard bastard, man. You'll be happy you did. And you'll be really happy if you check out Base Mama. You know what? I'm going to do this right on the fly. I didn't even plan on doing it. But I'm going to hit this some gun right now. Because I am leaving one very important person out right here. In fact, I'm going to pop up this person. Uh, I have invited them on. So I'm not going to say their name out loud. I'm just going to show you this channel right here. Yeah, I will. It's the Prince of Queens. Love the guy, man. What a awesome awesome fag man he's the fag that you think you're gonna get some he probably beat your fucking ass in the alleyway and then turn around and put his finger this deep in you know where so i would strongly advise that if you want to debate this gentleman or if you want to have a fist fight that you get your notes together and if you you've got your notes together and you want to do this stuff with him you better go ahead and get to the gym and get your mind right. One more, folks. One more, and then I'm going to do my sign-off. I know I'm going a little bit long, but I wasn't even going to do this video. But you know what, people? I love y'all. I, I, I really care about the folks that come and see me. I even care about you people that don't like me. I care about humanity. But, oh, my goodness, the beautiful day is dead. Some of her stuff is a little bit older. She does a lot of live streams, and I am honored to have this very, very beautiful, super intelligent female. I mean, I did, and I, whatever, call them the feminist card or whatever, but I'm not used to girls like Based Mama and Day is Dead that are really, really, really pretty. I mean, pretty to me, and I got high standards. I wish <laughs> my wife won't get on camera, but if she did, you'd say I have very high standards. But these girls, I mean, when I'm with them, or when I mean with them, when I see them and we're talking, I feel my heart swell up with pride that this beautiful woman is actually giving me a little bit of her attention. And not only that, what an intellect this young lady has. She has, the, I'm just going to shout out right now, the We're All Fucked live stream this coming Monday is the brainchild of Day is Dead. And it will be called, oh, Thought Crime. And we'll be talking about the effects of infighting on the skeptic community. And yes, day is dead. That's for memory because I've been studying up. I will be your host and moderator. Day is dead will be the centerpiece of this. And we'll be joined, as always, by the hard bastard and by Based Mama. And we might have, I don't want to shout out now because I don't have a confirmation from one of these people. I think I already said something about it, but I don't have a confirmation from them. And, you know, that's probably rude for me to just pretend that they're going to be there no matter what. And, um, but I do believe Amanda Wolfchild will be joining us in hour one. So without popping her stuff up, I'll just say again, Amanda Wolfchild, excellent, excellent corner of YouTube. She has an avatar, and she does her little brows and stuff. And if you check her out there, I'm sure she has a Twitter link, and you can go on Twitter and actually see what she looks like. She's very beautiful. 
Uh, I know a couple things about her that I'm not going to mention right now, but I do know she's married, boys. So hands off. Don't be a dick. Don't you'll be a perv. Uh, and uh, and also just check out her stuff. The little the eyebrows on the, the her avatar. They, she's just she's really good. And I have to say that I very highly doubt like Bearing that she just stole the art. Respect Bearing, but damn steal. And I doubt that she stole it. I think that either she or someone that she knows made it. I'm going long, so I gotta say, all I am saying is give Trump a chance. Ha <laughs> ha, that was about as impromptu as it gets. Listen, folks, be good to your friends. Be good to your family members. Be good to your loved ones. Be quick to say you're sorry. Be even quicker to accept an apology, especially when that thing your friend, your family member, your loved one has done seems so big that you'll never be able to forget it. Because constant viewers, in a time you think not, your friends, your family members, day is dead, Amanda Wolf child, based mama, the hard bastard, the incomparable Britisher, the Prince of Queens, and all that you love will depart from you. <laughs> hey, listen, I took this much of your time. You might as well go ahead and hit the subscribe button while you're here. It's, it's not a big deal. It's just a little thing. I don't know if I even got a bell on mine, and I would advise that you don't put notifications and don't tell your phone to follow you and give your... Don't do it. Just big brothers watching you, and a lot of my beloved friends here, you're helping him watch you. Let's be fiercely independent. And hey, guess what? Sydney Rough Diamond, I got my eye out for you, baby. I'll be looking through that dotto once again. It's summertime, baby. All the hot chicks gonna be out in bikinis, big guy. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? I love it. I can't wait to see you out there, man. We're gonna see. Well, I should have quit you, baby. Should have quit you a long, long time ago. Should have I'm